If you have any type of business, you know you should be posting educational content. That's what brings you more visitors, more leads, and more customers. But how do you come up with the idea? Don't be lazy and just plug it into ChatGPT because no one will care what you post. It's not authentic. It's something from AI. Be personable. Make it a relationship style educational post. And in today's video, I'm going to give you the exact prompt to use to steal this for your business. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links. And for the last six years, I've been helping people automate their business. And AI helps you automate your business, but a lot of people do it wrong. You've probably even done it wrong if you just threw something in ChatGPT. So I have the Marketing Machine Blueprint that we teach our students on how to use the right prompts to automate their business. Steal this prompt so you can come up with new ideas and topics. So part of the topic idea is going to ChatGPT and actually putting in the right keyword. So in the description below, I'm gonna share the exact link that you can plug into ChatGPT that will give you the exact prompt for your keywords. So you're basically gonna plug in, suggest short tail, long tail keywords, high, medium, and low competition keywords. What this is gonna do is give you high competition keywords that your competitors are probably ranking for and talking about, but also low competition keywords that you will instantly rank number one on Google and YouTube for. So you wanna think about your keywords. What are things people are typing in for your business? Are they looking to lose weight? Are they looking to make money? Are they looking for real estate deals? What are they exactly looking for? That's what you're gonna to want to put at the end of this prompt. All right, so at the end of the prompt, you're simply gonna type those keywords in like, weight loss or uh, fitness. And this is the easiest one to compare to because health and fitness, everybody's trying to look for that. But if you are real estate or doctor, you wanna put these things in here and just plug in as many keywords as you can. That way it, it, you give the most prompts to AI so it gives you the best results. Okay, now while AI is coming up with those results, it's gonna give you a bunch of different topics. Now, this is the key. You gotta do something with the topics. You gotta make a video, you gotta make a podcast, you should make a blog post, you need to make social media posts, but this is your pillar content that we call it. So it helps you come up with the topic, and usually what I do is I think of one topic for the week, and then I post about it, I make content around it, and I make helpful educational things on my website and my social media channels. So look, let's look at these results. Okay, you can see here that it starts with short tail keywords. So these are things like fitness tips, local fitness clubs, weight loss, weight loss tips, so those are good topics for you to know, hey, this is what I probably need to be talking about. It's gonna give you four, so that gives you four weeks worth of topics to talk about on social media. Next, you're gonna see long tail keywords. These are gonna be better for YouTube videos or blog posts where the competition maybe did not cover these things. And usually what I like to do is, let's say we decide to use weight loss diets for quick results. You can throw the word guide in there because guide makes you look like an expert and an authority. Now, if you maybe chose the wrong keywords, go back and do it again. Think about your business. You know, what are you gonna put in there that people might be searching for and that you're an expert and you're an authority in that you can help educate people. Take those short-term keywords and talk about those every week, something different. You can do reels, stories, social media posts, pictures, whatever you decide. Take the long-form videos, the long-form topics, turn those into videos, blog posts, podcasts, and then you can even go and turn those into social media posts after. So don't be lazy. Don't just throw ideas and not even post or come up with any topics. That's like playing golf without a set of golf clubs. So you need to actually put this into action. Come up with a topic and help and educate your users. That's what we teach at Automation Links, building real relationships with your audience. Hope this video brought you a ton of value. And if it did, subscribe, leave me a comment. I'd love to see you in the comments and check out more about your business. See you on the next one.